Okay, uh, hello, good morning. Um, thank you, Sunlight, again, for hosting this great camp. Uh, again, it's been several years. I actually was here uh, four years ago, and it's, it's really the community here has, has changed. My name is, is Felipe Joiser. I'm the director of Ciudad Inteligente, which is a civic tech NGO that is focused in Latin America, uh, and, but we're based in Santiago, Chile. And I'm Paul Lenz. I'm from my society in the UK. We live in different continents and we work for different organizations. But because we have the same kind of challenges when it comes to civic technologies, we're here together to represent the same thing. And that thing is Populus. Yeah, Populus is a civic technology, it's a civic hacking activist group that was born just a couple of weeks ago in a conference in Santiago, Chile. We have people from about 28 countries coming to this conference, founding this, this new community. We are a diverse kind of community. We built different kinds of technology from spotting corruption to channeling citizen participation, trying to empower citizens in different kinds of ways. We're also a diverse group of people. We have civic hackers. We have journalists and people that come from the policy side. They're interested in freedom of information, in participation, and good governance. Um, but. You know, though we are a diverse group of people uh, and we share civic values, that is not the only thing that, that we have in common as a group. What we have in common is that we hate waste and we love civic activism. If you wanted to set up a blog, you wouldn't try and code a new version of WordPress from scratch. Yet with civic technologies like FOIA websites or street fault reporting or monitoring elections, we so often see groups around the world facing the same technical problems, attempting to create their own technical solutions. Now, if we had the budgets of Silicon Valley startups, that might not be a problem, but we don't. Our budgets are tight, and this kind of duplication of effort makes it harder for us to achieve our main goals. Instead of trying to change the world, we end up trying to fix bugs, bugs that other people have already found the, pro the solutions to in Malaysia or South Africa or Australia. We also make the same mistakes in outreach and engagement and citizen engagement that others have already faced and overcome. So I think Paul's right. We, we, we hate uh, wasting time and the very few resources that sometimes of civil society we have. Um, we hate duplicating efforts. And it's not that we have like the, the, you know, a strong, solid, and proved solution for it. What we have is the persuasive and also strong feeling that the answer to face the civic technology problems uh, that we have across the world has to do with sharing. And it has to do with more sharing, but also has to do with better kind of sharing. So the problem that many of us at the civic technology uh, space have is that sharing so far has meant going open source, sharing the code, saying, yeah, that's my GitHub repo. Just take a look at the uh, stuff we have doing. And I think we can be much more proactive than, than that so far. So the first thing we need to do a better job of is sharing stories. We're going to share them online and we're going to share them offline at fantastic events like this. What kind of stories? Some of the stories that you maybe heard yesterday. Stories like how you can get 10,000 people to contribute to a transparency project in Taiwan. How you can get a FOIA law changed in Uruguay. Our members are going to be around the world at events encouraging people to share, particularly in places where the civic hacking community is relatively new and relatively isolated. So as important as sharing stories is, we're also going to share technology. And what we have come up as a community at Poplus uh, is the idea about the Poplus components. These are single function, ultra reusable pieces of code that solve a very, very specific, but also common kind of problem. So this each component is not a, a full website. It, it is a section. It is a very specific function uh, within this, uh, the website. But that component may serve other websites as well. Now, so far as a community, we have built a couple of components to prove kind of this hypothesis. Uh, we have some components out there. These are a couple of them. For example, you have Puppet. There is a component that structures and gives provides data about um, people, uh, like politicians. You have Billet that organizes structures. It's a REST API that provides data about bills, documents, laws, and so forth. And Say It that structures and, and serves data about um, debates, uh, conversations, and so forth. Now, this these components that exist single function. 
uh, have been implemented, not just in theory, but actually in real life. This is a website that we're uh, launching in Chile next week that does parliament monitoring, right? It has the typical stuff. It has information about the members of Congress. It has bills, voting records, <coughs> and so far. But the big difference, it's, it's a more powerful kind of website. And it's also much cheaper. It costs us less, six times less than our previous effort. And that is because it's using populace. It's using the components and the pieces of code built by the different members of the community. So for example, we're using Puppet to organize the data about the members of Congress. We're using Billet to organize and structure data regarding documents. In this case, bills and the laws we're being discussing in Congress. Uh, we also write it with uh, stores and serves data about email exchange and iteration between citizens and members of Congress. Now these components, again, you know, that website is using components built by the community in different corners of the world. And this is happening in different parts as well. We have the same components, the same race APIs, serving transparency websites in different corners, in places like Morocco, like Canada, like in, in Chile, like in the UK, uh, like in Nigeria. Uh, and this community is growing, and we really want a, you to be part of it. So, there's so much more we could say than I was going to say in five minutes. Unfortunately, we've overrun slightly. Sorry, six minutes. Um, but I want to end on just one note, and that is Poplus needs you. We need you to share. What that means in practice is that we want people to become members. There's no entrance fee, there's no commitment, or you don't have to agree to anything other than it's a good idea to share. We're a cooperative, we're led by our members, and the paths that we're going to take in the coming months and years will be defined by those people who come along and sign up. Please come and find us over the course of the next couple of days. There are populous people in the room. Do you want to stand up? Stand up, wave your hands, wave your hands. And on that note, thank you for TCAP for letting us speak. Thank you all very much. And there's sweets. We have candy and stickers for anyone who likes candy and stickers. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.